Now I move on to example 21. Find the values of m for which the straight line y equal to mx minus 9 is a tangent to the curve x squared equal to 4y. Okay, a simple sketch for this. You have a curve. This one is x squared equal to 4y. And you have a tangent. Remember, tangent just touches one point. Let's say this point here. This is the straight line y equal to mx minus 9. Remember, if the straight line is a tangent to the curve, then your condition will be b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. Okay, the process is still the same. We will list down the straight line y equal to mx minus 9 as equation 1. Then the second one is the curve x squared equal to 4y. So now we want to eliminate y. So we have x squared equal to 4. y is what? y is mx minus 9. Now you have to rearrange into the general form of quadratic equation. Okay, let's see. You have something like this. Then you bring everything over. x squared minus 4mx plus 36 equal to 0. You should be happy as long as you can find the coefficient of x squared, your coefficient of x, which is b, and the constant, which is c. So now your condition is what? b squared minus 4ac equal 0. So you have b, that is negative 4m squared minus 4ac equal to 0. So here you have 16m squared minus 144 equal to 0. Very simple, you have 16m squared equal to 144. m squared equal to 144 divided by 16, which is 9. Remember, for square root, you have to put a positive negative answer, okay? So you have m equal to positive negative 3. So very simple now. If the straight line is a tangent to the curve or the straight line only intersect at one point, your condition should be what? b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. Therefore, you can find the exact values of m. Let's move on to the next example. Now I move on to example 23. Find the value of p for which uh, 8y equal to x plus 2p. Look at this one. When you have 8y equal to x plus 2p, you know that this is actually the straight line because uh, for straight line, you only have the term x and y here, okay? This straight line is a tangent to the curve. Okay, so this is the curve. 2y squared equal to x plus P. So again, tangent to the curve, you know that b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. You must really get this correctly, whether b squared minus 4ac equal to 0, more than 0, or less than 0. Since they are tangent to the curve, b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. Next, we have to do what? Elimination, right? We try to eliminate my y. So let's see here. I get my y as the subject of the formula, x plus 2p over x. Put this as the first equation, this as the second equation. So now you substitute equation 1 into equation 2. Your y is what? x plus 2p over 8 squared equal to x plus p. Remember, what you want to do is eliminate your y so that you have a quadratic equation. Then you can arrange into the general form of quadratic equation. Let's continue here. Expansion, we have x squared plus 4px plus 4p squared over 8 squared will be 64 equal to x plus p. So this is a little bit uh, more on the calculation. When you have x plus 2p over 8 squared, so 8 squared is actually 64. This is pretty simple. If x plus 2p, you can't do it in the very fast way. You can actually do it one by one. x plus 2p squared, okay? So you have x squared plus 2px. Here you have another one, plus 2px. 2p times 2p, you have positive 4p squared over 64. Then you will have x squared plus 4px plus 4p squared 
over 64. That's how you got this expression here. Okay, let's continue. 2 and 64 simplify. We have 32 here. So I'm going to cross multiply here. I have x squared plus 2px plus 4p squared equal to 32 times x plus p. So simplify further, x squared plus 4px, here you have a 32x, so you have minus 32x plus 4p squared, here you have 32p, bring over, become minus 32p equal to 0. Okay, let's group all the terms together, x squared, your x here, coefficient x will be 4p minus 32 then you have 4p squared minus 32p equal to 0. So you should be happy here because now you will be able to get the coefficient of x squared. That is an invisible one here, a equal to 1. Then this will be your coefficients of x, that is b. And this one will be your constant. So c will be your constant. So when you got this, you can substitute into what? B squared minus 4AC equal to 0. Let's erase this one. Because this is the tangent to the curve. Remember, tangent to the curve just touch at one point. Only. So B squared minus 4AC equal to 0. So you have B, that is 4P minus 32 squared minus 4AC. 4P squared minus 32P equal to 0. Okay, expand it, you have 16p squared minus 256p plus 1024 here minus 16p squared, the expansion, minus 4 times uh, negative 32, you should have positive 128p equal to 0. Let's arrange it. This is uh, in terms of p so we have p square, p square, 16 p square minus 16 p square equal to 0. So eliminates. Then you have negative 256 p plus 128 p. That is negative 128 p. Plus 1024 equal to 0. So you have negative 128 p equal to negative 1024 p equal to negative 1024 divided by negative 1 to 8. Therefore, your answer for P will be positive 8. The second type that is when the straight line intersect the curve at only one point or the straight line is the tangent to the curve. They, they normally like to use the word tangent to the curve. It implies that they only intersect at one point. Then your condition is what? B squared minus 4AC equal to 0.